How's it going guys, CB7 here, and today I'm going to be doing a player review on Team of the Season, Felipe Luis. And basically before this video starts, if you guys are new to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Basically, I did upload another video today, it was on a trading method, which can make you a lot of coins. The link to that will be in the description, and yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the video. So basically guys, for some reason, I was kind of expecting the Bundesliga team of the season to be released, I don't know why, but instead, the La Liga team of the season was released, and out of the La Liga team of the season, there's just so many high-rated, solid cards. One of them is Felipe Luis, he looks like an absolutely insane defender, which is why I decided to review him. But basically, team of the season Luis is a 92-rated left back from Atletico Madrid, He's 6 feet tall, he has high medium work rates, 3 star weak foot, and 3 star skill moves. Now, I did pick him up for around 180,000 coins, but you could probably pick him up now for just under 170,000 coins. Now onto his in-game stats, and look at those in-game stats. All of them basically just look so solid, but out of his in-game stats, in my opinion, the most standout ones would have to be 96 crossing, 99 stamina, 96 marking, and 97 sliding tackle. Now basically, before I get into the standout pros of this card, I just want to say that this guy was a very solid defender, but I think he played better attacking-wise than he did defending-wise, which is kind of weird, but I will establish that in this review. But basically, now onto the standout pros and cons of this card. The first standout pro would have to be this guy's pace. He is very fast, even though he's quite tall. I feel he is very fast. And he's always able to keep up and track down my opponent's players and attackers whenever they make a run. And yeah, I just feel like his pace is so solid. The next standout pro of this card is this guy's passing. What I mainly want to highlight about his passing though is his crossing. But basically, this guy did play a lot of good through balls to my forwards and made a lot of good passes. But his crossing, it was just something else. It was something that I don't think I've ever seen on a left back or right back card. Whenever he got down the line and I made a cross with him, it normally always found someone in the box and some of his crosses were just so accurate. And yeah, his crossing was just unbelievable. The next standout pro of this card is this guy's dribbling in general. Not many left backs and right backs do feel that good on the ball. Sometimes they do feel good on the ball because they have good pace, but this guy felt very, very good on the ball. And it was really strange, but it was really nice as well because combined with his pace, it was just so easy to make runs up the field with him and stuff like that and get up the field and then make a pass to our forwards or something like that. How Felipe Luis played attacking wise is also a standout pro as well. Basically, I've used a lot of left backs and right backs that do get up the line and do get quite far up the field, but Felipe Luis was always looking to get up the field. He was just not afraid at all. He was always making runs trying to get down the line so he can cross the ball into the box and he just played insane whenever he got up the field and I really think that he played better attacking wise than he did defending wise. Now he did play very good defending wise but attacking wise he was just something else. You could easily just take the ball off with them, run past so many people, play a good pass, play a good cross or even take a shot. His shooting was also decent as well. So I do feel if you do play this guy in the left wing back position in a uh, five at the back formation, I think this would best suit him and I think you would get so much out of him. The next standout pro of this card is this guy's defending in general. Now, his defending is pretty good. It's not the best, but I feel he is a very solid defender. He made a lot of solid tackles and critical tackles to win the ball back from my opponents. Now onto the next standout pro of this card, it is this guy's stamina. His stamina is 99, which is just incredible. Now, the most recent player review that I've done, the guy did have 99 stamina and he was a right back card. And I just said how good this was on this card and how well it benefited me. And for Felipe Luis, it was the exact same. His stamina was so good. And at the end of the game, I feel like he was a lot better the second half of the game than the first half of the game. I think this may be because of his stamina, and this may be because he has so much more energy than other players at the end of the game, and he's always able to make good tackles and get up the field more and kind of just play a bit better. 
The next standout pro of this card is this guy's strength. It is 82, which is pretty decent for a defender. Now, some of the time, I feel when he was running up the field, he did get out-muscled. But when he was actually defending, I feel he never got out-muscled and he always out-muscled people off the ball. This guy's height is also a standout pro as well. He is 6 feet tall, which is pretty tall for a defender. Now, for some defenders, I feel that their height makes them a lot slower. But this really wasn't the case with Luis. He was very fast, and his height also made him, I think, able to outmuscle more people off the ball and win a lot of balls in the air, which he did do. And then the final standout pro of this card is this guy's league and nation. A lot of people have Brazilian teams, so even if you don't have a La Liga team and you don't want to fit him in that way, you can easily fit him in to a Brazilian squad. And yeah, as I just mentioned, he is from La Liga. I think quite a few people do have La Liga teams, so you won't have any trouble fitting this guy into your squad. But unfortunately, there is some standout cons to this card. The first standout con I feel is this guy's positioning. Now, some of the time, I did feel that Luis did get a bit too far up the field, and that contributed to him not getting back quick enough, which kind of led to not the best situation at the back. I also feel that Luis let his man slip away some of the time because he was a bit too high, which wasn't very good either. And some of the time I just wanted him positioned in a certain place, and he wasn't, and some of the time that did lead to a couple goals being scored against us. This is why I also feel his marking is somewhat of a con. I don't want to say it is 100% a standout con, but it did feel a bit like that because he wasn't the best with marking. Now, he did make a few interceptions, he didn't make the best, but as I just mentioned, he did let his man slip away a few times, and some of the time when he should have been marking someone, he wasn't. The next standout con of this card is this guy's price. He is just a bit under 170,000 coins, which is pretty expensive for a left back card. Now, a lot of people won't be willing to pay this price for this card, but I feel he is kind of worth the price that he is going for. But yeah, still, I feel that a lot of people would find this quite expensive. But nevertheless, Luis is a very solid left-back card with a lot of good all-round stats. Now, if I had to give him a rating out of 10, I would give him a 9 out of 10. He is very good going up the field, he has great defensive stats, and he is also has very good physical as well. But unfortunately, his positioning isn't the best. His marking somewhat isn't the greatest, and he's also quite expensive as well, which is why I decided to give him a 9 out of 10 rating. But nevertheless, guys, if you do have the coins, I really recommend to go pick this card up. And basically, guys, I did mention that at the start of the video, I did upload a trading method on my channel today. The link to that will be in the description. You can make so many coins just by doing the stuff in that video. And basically, guys, I forgot to mention it at the start of the video, but we did hit 100 subscribers a couple days ago which I'm just so grateful for. I thank all of you, all of you that have subscribed. I really thank you for that. Honestly, my channel has been growing so much recently. It's been amazing. But basically, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. And I will hopefully be uploading a couple more Team of the Season videos tomorrow. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.